time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What My Line? Brought to you by New Stopette, America's leading spray deodorant. The lotion spray deodorant that's like balm to your skin. Who? There goes perspiration. Now let's all play What My Line? <laughs> Now let's meet the members of our What's My Line panel. First, our publisher panelist, Bennett Cerf. Ladies and gentlemen, there were three very important people up at West Point today for graduation exercises. One of them was President Eisenhower, one was General Omar Bradley, and one was Arlene Francis. Now you <laughs> guess which one is at my immediate right. <laughs> I'd like my full title, Honorary Whack Sergeant. Wacky. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right is a gentleman who, in the early days, billed himself as the world's worst juggler, Mr. Fred Allen. <laughs> I must say that I live down to it, too, Arlene. <laughs> and I, at my right, ladies and gentlemen, a young lady at my right. Oh, which, right. That was changed, I think. <laughs> uh, at my right, ladies and gentlemen, a young lady who has something bothering her tonight. She wants to know, when you're eating the tongue in a tongue sandwich, is the tongue tasting you, or are you tasting the tongue? <laughs> Dorothy Kilgallen. On my right, another juggler, or really opposite me, a juggler of confusing terminology, our beloved moderator, John Daly. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Tonight, once again, some interesting occupations and some very nice people who've brought them here, and a panel that we trust we'll be able to give a rough time to. We'll also have a famous guest challenger a bit later on, but I think it's time for these experts of ours now to meet the first challenger. So will you sign in, please, ma'am? Elizabeth? Elizabeth Rowan, is that right? Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. Rowans, That's and where right. are you from, Mrs. Baltimore, Rowans? Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. That's well, right. it's nice to have you here with us. Thank you. Uh, we would like to let the panel have a brief, close look at you because it might give them some ideas. So, would you take a walk down in front of the panel for me? Rowans. Hello, Mr. Rowans. Hello, Mrs. Rowans. How are you? Hello, Mrs. Rowans. All right, Mrs. Rowans, over here and sit down next to me, if you will. And we'll see what we can do or make, about making life a little bit. Uh, Unpleasant for the panel, in a nice way, of course. Do you know how we score this operation, Mrs. Yes, Rowans? And I won't explain all of that then. We will merely move now to let the folks who are at home and those who are here in the theater with us know what your line is. <laughs> all right. So the panel's going to have to work this all out. Mrs. Rowans, are you all ready? And we'll just, uh, if you are, okay. say that you are salaried and begin the general questioning with <clears throat> Bennett Cerf. Mrs. Rowans, you're from Baltimore? Yes, I am. I can take it for granted you're not on the Baltimore Orioles, may I not? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you perform a service of some kind? I do. Do people come to you for the service? Yes, they do. Do they come to you in groups rather than one at a time? Sometimes. Uh, might I come to you for the service? Uh, I wouldn't think so. No. <laughs> well, one down, nine to go, Miss Gilgallen. Well, might I, Mrs. Rowans? Yes, you would. Then is it more likely that females would come to you than males? Yes. Are they better off or happier when you're finished with them? Sometimes. <laughs> well, That's very they... wise answer. Do they ever come to you because they have to and not because they want to? Oh, yes. Well, let's have a small conference here. Yes, they do. Well, now, tell you, by golly, that's true. Sometimes. Well, 
I hardly know what area we're in in that case. <laughs> well, I'm not sure myself, Dorothy, so we can have a lot of fun. Uh, do you work in what might be called some type of institution? No. No, we wouldn't call it an institution. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Do you, in the process of, of uh, uh, s servicing the person, do you, do you touch the people at, at any time? Sometimes I do. Only occasionally. That's right. Not as a regular practice. Well, actually, what I think Mrs. Jordan's means is that it's not absolutely necessary, but in the performance of her, her uh, functions, she sometimes is a matter of courtesy, helpfulness, friendliness, could and on occasion does uh, come in physical contact with those who use her services. John, I'm going to ask for equal time. <laughs> get it on another network. Well, do you, do you work in any particular, uh, do you work indoors? I do. Do you work a, a, in an office of sorts? No. Not That's in an office. No office. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Is there anything advisory or instructive in your work, Mrs. Rowan? No. No, I wouldn't think so. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Well, Mrs. Rowan's, is there anything entertaining in what you do? I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Would I be entertaining? <laughs> no. I wouldn't think it was entertaining either. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, does something happen to these people after they see you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something happens to them, doesn't it? These women. Does it have anything to do with children? Oh, yes. Are these... Uh, now, the late... service has something to do with children. Yes. That's the context of your question, isn't it? Well, well, yes, the whole thing that she does. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily educational. Is that correct? No, I asked that. Yes, it is not necessarily educational, no. <laughs> uh, are these ladies who come to you married? Oh, sometimes they are. <laughs> <laughs> Just went out the window. <laughs> do you have anything to do with health? Yes. Yes, I would say there is um, a definite relationship between health and the functions which Mrs. Rowan serves. Uh, well, are these ladies expectant mothers? Sometimes. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Is it true that they don't have to be to enjoy oh, no. your service? Yes, it is true that they don't have they to don't be, have no. To be. That's <laughs> why Dorothy. Would well, do you have anything to do with the clothing that they wear? Yes. Uh, do you have something to do with um, maternity clothes? No. <laughs> Wait a minute, small conference. never did, then we'll just knock that right over. Six down and four to go. I would make the point here that Mrs. Rowan's, in her experience, has not had anything to do with the maternity clothes. So that's six down and four to go, Mr. Allen. I'm going to give you one more minute. Well, John, I think anything I say will be wrong, so I pass. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Allen passes Miss Francis. Is this clothing for, uh, is it something that is seen? Uh, if you were to come in the room at a party, would you be liable to wear this clothing that you uh, sell or are involved in? Sure. Yes. You would, it would be seen. It would oh, show. Yes. Uh, is it a particular kind of clothing that is worn in a particular day? Uh, there she goes no. again. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Surf, and 30 seconds. Uh, is it any kind of uniform? Would you yourself ever wear a uniform, Mrs. Rowan? Yes, I do. Was it, would it be a white one? It would. Uh, is it some kind of nursing that you're connected with, then? Nope. Nope, no nursing, and I'm going to flip all of the cards because I think that this is a very tough one and you've just not been able to get on the track. Because Mrs. Rowans is an attendant in the free public bath operated by the city of Baltimore. <laughs> Mr. Rowan, you get the full prize, and thank, thank you very you. much for a tough and interesting occupation. It's nice to have had you with us on What's My Life. Thanks for me, I wouldn't go to you.
Bennett's looking mad. Hold everything. Yes, Bennett. What do you mean? I don't take a bath when I said, do I, would I go there? And Mrs. Rowan said, no. Might we I not don't go? think if you went there that Mrs. Rowan's would be handling you. The ladies, man. Another thing, John, is they wouldn't be dressed uh, the way uh, to go to a party or to well, be, come into a room. Parties being operated at all hours of the day and night, we will presume that if you what go to take a bath... What an evasive answer. Cut. Evasive, Arlie. Me? <laughs> I'm outraged. So What's will you going sign on in place, Baltimore, sir? I wonder. <laughs> I was wondering. William? William Gorley, is that right, sir? I would have you note, panel, a very firm and clear handwriting. Where are you from, sir? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Well, with the Dodgers doing as well as they're doing, I can see why you would have firm handwriting. That's for sure. Would you let the panel get a closer look at you, sir? Just take a walk in front of the panel. Girly? Hello, Mr. Gurley. Gurley, how are you? All right, Mr. Gurley, if you'll come over here and sit down. We'll see if we can't tie the panel into knots again. Do you know how we score this operation? Yes, I believe so. Oh, fine. I don't have to explain that again. Of course, I'll get frustrated after a while, you know, but we won't explain it anyway. What we will do now is let the folks at home and those who are here in the theater with us know what your line is and then let the panel work it out. <laughs> all right. Mr. Gorley, you all set? Yes, sir. Mr. Gorley is all set. We will announce that he is salaried and begin the general questioning with... Fred Allen. Uh, Mr. Gawley, do you uh, deal in services? Yes, sir. Uh, might you perform this service for me? <laughs> yes, sir. I wish Miss Rowans was back. I'd be better. <laughs> do you, uh, then I gather that you deal more with men than you do with women? No, sir. No, conference. He must know what he does, John. Don't talk him out of it. John's trying very hard. <laughs> Mr. Gorley feels that he wants to be completely fair about this, Fred, so we will give you a qualified answer there. It is true that in the long pull, it might be that uh, he would come in contact with men more than women in his job. Um, may I continue? Yes, if you will. When you get started, John, I feel like a fly in a, an alka seltzer. I, I know I'm in there, but I have no control of things that's going on. <laughs> well, uh, now these men, uh, uh, for some of these men, would this service be a necessity rather than a luxury? Yes, sir. Yes, it would. Well, do these people for whom you do this have uh, anything in common? Yes, they do. Well, that, what I mean is, uh, would some of them uh, uh, be helpful if their uh, looks were improved? No. Wouldn't be improved. Would some of them be helpful if their looks were improved? Would they be improved if their looks were improved? Well, I think it's possible, don't you, that in some of these cases, if you improve their general appearance, they might be helped, yes. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, do you deal with, with people, um, uh, fellows who are overweight or, or fellows who are losing their hair or anything like that? <laughs> no. What down a nine to go, Miss Francis? But the people do come to you rather than you going to the people. That is a question if you would like to put it uh, From the expression on Mr. Gooley's face, I don't think I'll use the question at all. <laughs> Do you travel in your work, Mr. Gurley? Yes, I do. How are things? <laughs> <laughs> do you go from door to door, Mr. Gurley? Uh, no, not from door to door. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Gurley, if you're not a member of the police department, you ought to be. Have you got anything to do with the police department? Yes, I do. Now, what is it? Uh, you say you travel a bit? Yes, I do. Would you be, by any chance, uh, in one of those little green cars that ride around the streets? Uh, no. That makes it three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you a plainclothes officer rather than a uniform type? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Just say no. It'll I'm be glad. All. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's save time. Four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. You're not a, uh, an officer for a school by any chance. 
probation officer. You're not officer. an officer for a school, no. by any chance. No, yes, that makes it five down and five to go, Miss Francis. But do you travel on something rather than your feet when you travel? Yes, I do. Is it a motorcycle? No. Golly, there is six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Is it an automobile? Uh, no. It's not it's a... It's a paddy wagon. <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Seven down and three to go. And since Arlene jumped in, I ought to tell you, we just flip the rest of the cards. Is that all right, dear? <laughs> yes, it is. I'm sorry. And what does Mr. Gorley have to do with the patrol wagon, paddy wagon? Drives it. He drives it. And now let me tell you a real shocker. We were hoping that Bennett would go on his line of questioning about the police department. Mr. Gorley is not a policeman. He is a civil service employee of the police department. And we were hoping to tie you in knots with that one. But oh, we didn't. He's dead anyhow. But Mr. Dolly, you tried to be nuts with other things. Thank you very thanks much. for being an interesting guest to watch my life. Nice to have you. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a We come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded. The blindfolds are all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Okay, Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? case of our mystery celebrity, we get right down to the general questioning. And let's begin that tonight with uh, Miss Arlene Francis. Are you part of the entertainment world? Are you part of the entertainment world? <clears throat> yep, part of the entertainment world. I would say this, I think you can be misled here. So I will say that uh, there is a relationship between our guests in the entertainment world. Go ahead, Miss France. I'm sorry, you all ask questions one at a time in turn, and we go clockwise, Mr. Sir. Well, does that answer, sir, mean that you are, if you are in the entertainment world, your participation is behind the scenes? Not in the public view. Yeah, I'm in the public view. Well, our guest is in the public view, but Bennett, you basically, I think, in applying your question, our guest is behind the scenes in the fundamental relationship to the entertainment world. Miss Kilgallen. He, he's behind the scenes in his fundamental relationship to the entertainment world? Yes. Is that what we're working on? That's what you're working on <laughs> if you choose to stay there, yeah. Well, are you in the amusement or entertainment world, including sports? Well, here we go again. May I answer this Go one? Go ahead. What we have here is a relationship between our guest and entertainment, period. Okay. And what you have in addition is the knowledge that this relationship is a behind the scenes relationship rather than one that uh, would cause our guest in this particular context to appear before the public. Mr. Allen. Well, well, is, this about, is there sports in that or isn't there? You didn't answer that. That's what we want to know. Is he a... Well, all right, then you can rule well, it out. I'll sport. ask, it, is he in the sports uh, field? He must know what he does, vaguely. Not in the sports field. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Have you anything to do with the theater? Nothing to do with the theater. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Are you... Would you be called a businessman rather than an entertainment person, then? Yes, a businessman. Tycoon, eh? <laughs> Miss Gilgallan. Uh, do you also do something in the arts, such as writing, painting? Mm -hmm. Do you also do something writing in music? the arts, such as writing, painting? I do not. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Are you a director? A director? Mm-hmm. I and am the not. points at other people. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Director, uh, in what sense, Mr. Allen? Uh, directing... Uh... Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, directing traffic indoors. <laughs> no, directing a play or a musical. Oh, no, that's no, four no, down no, and no, six no, to go, no, Miss Francis. No, Are you a director in any other sense of the word? Yeah, I am a director in another sense of the word, yes. Director of corporations. Director of what? Director of corporations, you said? 
Director uh, are of you Are you by any chance the head of a business that is listed on the New York Stock Exchange? Yes, I am. Miss Kilgallen? I'm dead. <laughs> uh, are you in any way connected with merchandising? With merchandising? Mm -hmm. You mean in the sense of a relationship to a big um, department store? That's right. No, I am not. Five down and five to go, Mr. Ellis. Is he interested in the automotive business? The automotive business? That's right. I am not. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Well, do you have anything whatsoever to do with one of our sponsors on What's My Line? Nothing to do with your sponsors. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seven down Don't and three to go, <laughs> Mr. Serp. Does your company own a chain of theaters or motion picture houses? We do not. Eight down and two to go, <laughs> Miss Jill Gallon. Well, are you strictly interested in money? <laughs> By which you mean in the banking fraternity or, or its stocks allied... stocks and bonds. Or Beg your pardon? Stocks and bonds. Stocks and bonds. That's very good, Dorothy. No, you? not strictly interested no. in that. No. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Allen. Oh. You're not in politics by I... any chance. No, no politics. I have a, I, I, Ten down and one to go. Can I have one more question, John? I beg your pardon? Can I have one Think more question? I think it's 55. Yes, minutes. you can have one more question. Have you been changing the names of half the hotels in the United States? <laughs> oh! This is indeed the man who has been changing the names of lots of hotels, but Conrad not only in the United States. Yeah. Take what? your back. You can know, Conrad Hilton is right. <laughs> and actually, I think you're going to do another bit of that international development of yours in Istanbul, are you not? <laughs> yes, we're leaving, he, leaving here on Wednesday to open up a new hotel in Istanbul, Turkey. Golly, that's fine. And you've got hotels in Madrid and Puerto Rico, so you know when you go to these foreign countries to get a towel, it'll be the same kind of towel you can get in America. <laughs> yes, Fred? I think we better watch, Mr. Hilton. This place may be a hotel by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it will, too. Mr. Hilton, thank you very much, sir, for being a, a guest a little bit out of the ordinary on What's My Line and for having a lot of good fun with us and with the back. <laughs> what we can do very rapidly with a final challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please, sir? Mr. X. <laughs> Mr. Alex Tansman, and where are you from, sir? New York. Fine, you come over here and sit down right with me, will you? Panel, this is going to be a test. I want you to move very rapidly because we're going to have about a minute and a half. See if you can find out exactly what we're up to. You know how to score this, Mr. Tansman? Yeah. Fine, then we'll very quickly let the people at home and here in the theater know what your line is and then put the panel to work. <laughs> All right. Mr. Tansman is self-employed. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Is there a product involved in what you do? Yes, ma'am. Is it useful? Yes. Would it be found in the home? Yes. Do you imagine I've ever had anything to do with this? Yes. Would it ever be found in the kitchen? Yes. Does it have anything to do with food? Well, has food. anything to do with food? No. No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Does it have anything to do with water? With water? <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Fred. Uh, uh, would a person ever carry it around? Yes. Uh, would you carry it around? Of, in a manner of speaking, you'd carry it around. Would you yes. carry it in your hand, yes. rather than on your head? <laughs> uh, oh, you would carry it on your head, huh? <laughs> would you carry it on your head, John, for fun? Yeah, you could okay. for fun. Mm -hmm. Has, is it anything in the Hat family? Yes. It is something in the Hat family. Is it anything in the Chef's family? The Chef's family? <laughs> no, and boy, I think it's a good thing we ran out of time. We'll throw the chips in, but you were getting awfully close, Mr. Tansman makes Davy Crockett hats. He oh! has the Walt Disney contract. <laughs> oh, fine. Mr. Tansman is going to give his winnings to the hot fund and go back and start making Walt Disney's wonderful hats. And thank you, Mr. Tansman. Sorry, wonderful. we didn't have more time than you. Nice to see you. We'll be back in just a moment.
Now you'll have a lot of laughter explained to you because until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. Good night, John. Good night, Fred. <laughs> good night, Mrs. Crockett. <laughs> I'm Daisy Crockett, queen of the wild frontier. <laughs> Good night, brother. You send that back to keep over tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, John. And Mr. Tansman, as you can see, brought one for everybody. Here's mine. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for being with us on What's My Life. Transportation for What's My Line is arranged through American Airlines. America's leading airline serving 77 major cities throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico. This...